So how far along are you? <laughs> Find out tomorrow. And you going for a doctor's appointment? For the ultrasound. And you might hear a little heartbeat? Yeah. Are you excited to go? I'm super excited. Are you sure? What if we don't hear a heartbeat? It's okay. We might not hear a heartbeat because uh, cousin Jenny said that she worked at OBGYN and she said that she doesn't really book people out for 10 to 12 weeks and this will be like exactly at my eight week. So we'll see. How are you feeling? I feel fine. People keep asking, how are you feeling? How are you feeling? And I feel fine except for, I have to say I talk about poop more than I've ever talked about it in my entire life because I do have issues with that and my boobs are getting bigger and I don't really feel nauseous. Uh, the past couple days I've been tired, but it's also been hot out, so, you know. And what's your app say? That I'm at eight weeks. But it also... And what app is it that you're using? Flow app. And has it been helpful? Well, it has been helpful. I'll tell you why it's been helpful, because it kind of goes over, like, if I was at eight weeks, then right now, baby, what is happening right now is the embryo is the side of a kidney bean. Babe, just a couple weeks ago, it was the size of a pea. I haven't even read this. And a poppy seed before and that. A poppy seed and then a pea or a lentil, and now it's a kidney bean. That's like a, a big enough Whoa. to take a bite and know that there's something in your mouth. <laughs> Whoa. But I don't know. So if. But I'm also like, okay, maybe I'm only at six weeks. If I am only at six weeks, then we're back to the size of a lentil. So we, we, we're we not going to know until tomorrow. Or Friday. How's your mood been? It's great. I'm in such a good mood all the time. I've had no issues. I'm just constantly feeling good. It's good to hear. Anything else you want to say? No, just that. I'm so excited. Oh, and I can't wear under bra underwire anymore because I need a bigger bra because they hurt and I can't breathe when I have them on. So, super fun. Any advice to somebody in your position or about to be? Breathe. Do lots of breathing techniques because right now it feels like it's not real and it's not happening and there's still a whole lot of fear and so tomorrow like that ultrasound will be a lot even if I don't hear the heartbeat heartbeat just being able to see that everything is fine is good because there's a lot more fear involved than I thought I know that my mom and my aunts worry a lot but I just didn't realize that it was going to start like right away and so I'm just trying to be more grateful that I'm in this part of the experience and whatever happens happens and just enjoying and trying to celebrate it instead of being like a bum out trying to be positive instead of trying negative trying to be positive instead of negative but I'm super excited but I'll be even more I just can't wait to breastfeed and I cannot wait to like show a baby bump so I'm very excited about that anything you would change if you could go back and change it or do differently like what Position? just anything what just anything <laughs> in the first No. Okay. In the beginning? Oh, yeah. I would have st been steadfast to being not checking to see if I was pregnant right away because I went through 30 pregnancy tests until I had to have you, like, hide them because I couldn't believe it's true. So I've, like, known for a lot longer than most girls know. We have known a lot longer. Would you tell people to completely trust the app? Well, honestly, I can't say. And the reason why is the app has stayed true to me prior. I took out my birth control on April 1st, and so I recorded as a, as a period, but it wasn't a period. I just took out my birth control. So it did not have time to, like, really figure things out yet. I, so so I would say yes to the app because it's done me right in the past. How long was it between the time you took your birth control out and you became pregnant 
I took it out April 1st, and they're saying May 20th is around the time. So not very long for somebody who had endometriosis and for being older, 36. Anything else you want to say? No, dude. What do you want to say? Nothing. I'm just making a video. <laughs> Love you. Love you.